Axiom Holographics has opened a unique family attraction in Australia, a kind of augmented reality zoo, built around a much larger version of Euclidean's multi-viewpoint 3D display tables, and unlimited detail graphics engine. You need glasses, screens, and a darkish room, but no, it's not like a 3D movie. Essentially, the glasses are position tracked, and a graphics engine generates a different image for every eye that's looking at the screens, to render whatever's happening from that eye's unique perspective. All of these perspectives are mashed into a single image projection, but each lens is a crystal frequency separator that filters out everything but the image created especially for that eye. That means you have a 3D image that appears to float in the air, that stays in place if you move your head or even walk around it, and that multiple people can view at once from different perspectives. You can deliver a similar experience with virtual or augmented reality headsets, but they're big and heavy on your noggin, and these aren't, so they feel less isolating and more social. Much like augmented reality, it's impossible to photograph, so all of the images shown here are faked up. But in my opinion, it's a pretty honest representation of what you're seeing when you pop the glasses on, other than the blue tint and glow, which the company says it adds to its promo images so they look more like the Star Wars holograms people seem to expect. Axiom Holographics, formerly Euclidean Holographics, is now using the tech at a larger room scale. The 1,500 square meters holographic zoo includes two 20 meters long tunnel with screens all along three of the walls, and some 5 meters smaller rooms with screens on all four walls. Curiously, not the roof, which would allow for near total capture of your visual field. Axiom has cranked out 25 different tunnel experiences, from African safaris to Arctic journeys to prehistoric landscapes full of dinosaurs and undersea environments, as well as nine different options for the smaller rooms including escape room type situations featuring lesser known zoo animals like dracula and frankenstein it's also built in some four type effects including chilly arctic breezes and even some animal smells being as how they're completely computer generated axiom is happy to play with scale here making some small creatures much bigger for a unique perspective on them there's also a hologram bridge effectively a bridge over a large screen designed to make you feel like you're walking over a 50 meters drop into a canyon or whatever else the programmers can dream up. Beyond that, there's some 11 different 4-player holographic arcade games, inside another 5-meter room, and some silkscreen, 2-pack style projections in the restaurant area so folk can get their glasses off. Axiom prides itself on super quick content generation, and says it's been cranking out new experiences regularly. One key disadvantage when it comes to doing multi-user experiences this way is that the displays can only handle so many different images at once. With each person needing a separate image for each eye, you're limited to five people at a time in the rooms and tunnels, so it becomes a time-limited 15-minute experience in each and about 90 minutes all up. The Hologram Zoo will be open in Brisbane for another six months, after which the company says it'll be ready to open centers in Japan, Texas and Europe, and looking to expand from there.